I love how when I get my gear ready and turn my camera on and go out and actually start shooting a video, something always pops up that adds something to the video or you know, it just affects what's going on in my mind. I'm headed off to a quiet spot that I know to shoot this video and I was going to talk about relationships. And as I was walking down this kind of alleyway that I've walked down dozens of times before, it turns out there's a new piece of graffiti up that fits in perfectly with the topic. It'll make for a good thumbnail as well. My purpose for coming to Asia 14 years ago was for business. I came on a work contract uh, and I was in Singapore at the time. I've remained in Asia ever since for the past 14 years. Clearly, I liked it here. When I arrived in Singapore, it was I was 60 years old. It was actually the month before my 61st birthday. And I had not been in a romantic relationship for quite a while, at least five or six months at that time. And I had gotten to a place in my life where I was kind of thinking, well, maybe that aspect of my life, that part of my lifestyle has come to an end. I'm 60 years old, I've had a good run. Uh, you know, let's move on, be an old guy and forget about that stuff. And that was truly what was in my mind. And then I got here to Asia and found out that I was in an environment where, you know, romantic relationships are very much available for old guys like us, especially if you have a few bucks in the bank. And um, I took advantage of that over the last 14 years. I've had a number of, uh, of fun relationships, but I never lost that, that, that come from, that attitude of not really being in a relationship. You know, a bit of a conflict there, I, a bit of a duality, I guess. You know, how can you, you know, be in relationships and not be in a relationship? You know, well, you know, everything is complex. You know, there are shades of gray. <laughs> As much as we like to make uh, uh, make the world we live in, you know, a binary world of, uh, of black and white, it's not like that. And that's been the case for me. In a recent video that was very popular on my YouTube channel, and it did well on X as well, I talked about how uh, my relationship with Buakau, a woman that I've known for eight years now who worked for me, we were in a, uh, a, a personal relationship as well, changed. And... We were approaching our relationship differently. And that's true. That is very true. It, our relationship didn't end. Actually, it's improved in a number of ways because her four children grew up on, under my roof and they're kind of like my stepkids. I do wish to maintain a relationship with them. So I've had to figure out ways to structure time, you know, to spend with, with the kids who are, you know, young adults and teenagers now. You know, and you know, most of them, you know, three of the four are female. So, you know, if I'm hanging around with teenage girls, you know, I'm bringing their mother along. <laughs> so I found it curious that I was here pointing a camera at myself and, you know, posting videos about relationships at my stage in life. It seemed a little odd to me. And I'm thinking, what's going on here? And I, I started to look at that. First of all, I, I was talking with my friend Nicholas. Nicholas and I have something in common. We both love literature. We get a lot of, uh, uh, of uh, spiritual nurturing from, from literature, from writing and reading. And, uh, and I was talking with, uh, with, with Nicholas recently about relationships, and he asked the following. Yeah. Do you want a new relationship in your life? And the answer to that is a resounding no. I certainly don't want to go through the ritual of attracting and, and, and building a new relationship with some other woman at this point in my life. That's just not something I, I have an interest in. You know, what else is going on? Uh, in March, I went to the Philippines and uh, to Dumaguete and spoke with, uh, with Paul McGill, who has a popular YouTube channel uh, in, in Dumaguete. Most of you watching this know who Paul is. And my channel grew significantly from that experience. I mean, there were a couple of other videos after I spoke to Paul that boosted the channel as well, but they were all on that topic of, you know, expats, old guys moving to places in Asia and forming relationships with younger women. And I started getting drawn into the uh, algorithm trap. I was being rewarded for talking about that topic 
and you know that's you know so I followed that trail that trail of breadcrumbs down the algorithm trail for a couple of videos and and it did pay off but that's not really where I want to go uh, I mean it's like you know another thing occurred to me as well I was I was reading a book by Joseph Conrad now he may or not may not be well known to uh, to my viewers but most people will know of the, uh, the the old film Apocalypse Now and Apocalypse Now was based on a Joseph Conrad novel The Heart of Do Darkness which wasn't about Vietnam but that's another story Conrad is is a wonderful writer and I was reading one of his earlier novels set in south in set in southeast asia it actually starts out in singapore and winds up i think in indonesia and um, he's in a relationship with with, with a uh, with a, he's married to a woman and what he expresses the 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 villain or or the he's actually the protagonist and he's kind of a a villainous jerk uh to boot and he's a western guy living in southeast asia married to an asian woman feeling superior he, he is the uh, economic and social and spiritual superior to the woman that he's married to and even his his uh his his pale yellow son that's how he described him in the book uh is is kind of an amusement to him this guy has this superior superiority complex to the woman and you know and the children that they had together uh and and that's expressed very powerfully in the conrad novel now i'm not like that but as nicholas and i were discussing sometimes if you're reading a, a piece of literature and you're reading about the villain and you start identifying with the villain it's time to take a look at yourself and what it is that you're doing so that's what i'm doing i'm kind of examining you know my you know, where I am these days in terms of being a 74 year old guy who's you know reasonably prosperous actually considered somewhat wealthy here in Thailand they have a visa that I'm going to apply for and it's called the wealthy pensioner I'm eligible for it now in the United States I'm far from wealthy actually I'm far from wealthy anywhere but I'm doing okay I'm upper middle class here in Thailand and so I have that economic you know place to come from and am I using that in a you know in a with a colonialist kind of mindset where i feel superior to the people that i'm surrounding myself to have i put myself in this country in this place in the relationships that i am in and continue to be in with women and others here am i viewing myself as some kind of superior individual because of what is an accident of birth i was born in the united states which is a wealthy country and i did well enough there to be considered you know more important here than i ever would be back in my own country so i've been thinking about that a lot lately um so i don't know where i'm going with this I, it's just something that's on my mind it's about you know the the videos that i've been making lately and you know where i'm going with it down the road but it's it's a new uh i, I don't know i guess a, a, another point of my moral compass that i'm examining and taking a look at I don't know if this is even going to make an interesting video, but I'm putting it out there for you. Thanks for watching if you're still here. I'll see you soon.